Uh, welcome again to here we have again another so this is the second method of calculating leveling so leveling survey by the use of the height of collimation or in other words the height of instrument method so this lecture is by uh, Gadgera, Steven, uh, Tivet, Sidak, uh, Approver, Licensed Trainer. So let's go ahead. So this is the March series, uh, 2023. A question of 20 marks. So let's go ahead and read the question. So question number four. The following consecutive readings were taken with a dumpy level on a continuous sloping ground at a common interval of 30 meters on so this is on a uh, we have the first reading here a 0 0.855 one point uh, five four five uh, two point three three five three point one one five three point eight uh, two five uh, zero point four five five uh, one point three eight zero two point zero five five two point eight five five three point four five five zero point five eight five one point zero one five one point eight five zero two point seven five five and the last hell on B as three point eight four five meters so these are the stuff the stuff readings that were taken on a dumpy level so on a continuous sloping ground yeah remember that so if the reduced level at a was 380.5 meters make entries on a leveling book and a reduced by height of collimation and apply the arithmetic check b determine the gradient of a to b so from a to our b total of 20 marks so let's go ahead and the instrument so here we were told nothing about the shifting of the instrument um so here's a little bit trick i used uh in our books and in most of our calculation uh we were using a staff of four meters so you remember that a staff of four meters but with the modern introduction of the outer levels we have the five meter staff but here on this question i am sure a staff of four meters was used having noted that you come and observe your uh, values here so your values start start so um here we had a slope so this was a so it fell so our slope there was a falling until we reached a staff reading of 3.825 meters after that you can see we had a drastic change the staff reading again went to 0 0.455 that should tell you something this staff was a four meter staff and when the readings were taken uh here on our last uh, reading from position a we had 3.825 i am sure on the other reading that was supposed to be taken again the staff was not visible to the dumping level so this was a four meter staff and it was not visible because the land was uh, sloping downwards so if the staff was not visible our instrument changed and that's where our staff reading again uh, returns to 0 0.44 so that is the trick that you should be uh, using in order to observe how these values were written so so here we have a change point remember how we have done then we observe our values again our value start 
to fall so here we have a falling gradient again when it reaches 3.455 we have we have a drastic change of the reading of the instrument that means the stuff was not visible because that was the four meter stuff again here we have our changing point remember that then we move on and we finish so here we have two changing uh points so the changing positions of the instrument and remember how i've done that changing so a four meter stuff is being used and where our visibility uh, ceases to exist we change our instrument so here we had two changing points of our instrument i've illustrated that well here so here is where our changing points were observed uh, again so here we have the first reading we have intermediate readings then we have the last reading to our first uh, so this is our first instrument then our second instrument after the changing point here we have the first reading uh, intermediate readings and we have the last reading there at the foresight again the instrument shifted or it changed now to the third position here again first reading intermediates then we have the last readings here so you remember how i did that so that was observed because of the four meter stuff so the four meter stuff did uh, mostly the uh, the observation and the changing points uh, again so let's see the instrument position let's observe the instrument positions and we were told to use the so you know a uh, question here reduced by the height of collimation method so this is the height of collimation or the height of instrument method uh in the height of instrument method uh here we have uh the instrument height being used to determine the position of the reduced levels uh the reduced levels where the staff was held so the height of instrument ah uh, by the use of the collimation so that is this is the line of collimation so the line of collimation is the sighting of the instrument the positioning of the staffs so remember that uh, the height uh, of instrument by the use of the collimation the line of collimation produced uh, through the instrument from the uh, either the objective glass to the eyepiece to the formation of where the object is being uh, and here our object is the uh, the stuff so the height of instrument uh, let me illustrate first on this diagram then we'll go and look at the table uh, how that was done uh, let's start here so on the first positioning of the instrument we had the first reading that is the back side at 0 0.855 then we had been given the reduced level so the reduced level of a the reduced level of a was 380.5 meters so that is the uh, benchmark that is supposed to be here on a so the benchmark here uh, 380.5 meters so this is this is what you are supposed to be using so uh, 380.5 given to us here on the question uh, that is the value that we are supposed to add in order for us to know the positioning of the line of collimation or the height of instrument at position one was by adding the reduced level 
so the reduced level that is the height above mean sea level so that the reduced level is found on the ground so where the topsoil is so there is where our reduced level is in this positioning so that is position a our reduced level we again add so this is 382.5 we add the first reading so our first reading is 0 0.855 after adding of that we'll get the positioning of the instrument or the line of collimation by the use of the line of collimation and the line of collimation is as straight as possible uh, through the instrument to where the stuff was read on the first positioning so here uh, we can look at it so uh, we calculate so in this method you first add the reduced level found here on the benchmark plus the first reading taken that is the uh, backside reading after adding that you get a total so that will be the height of instrument illustrated here by the line of collimation that value will be subtracted in all our intermediates and also in our last reading in order for us to determine the uh, reduced level found on the bottom of the stuff so here we add that value then we subtract all the values that were observed here on the line of uh, collimation uh, we subtract all those values in order for us to have the reduced level after finishing that you'll have gotten the uh, reduced level where our change point occurred and remembering our staff did not move for the second uh, so here we have the first change point for the second position of the instrument our staff did not move that's where our first reading of the second position of the instrument is taken again we add that uh, backside to our reduced level of the changing point where the star was held so when we add again we get our line of collimation or our uh, height of instrument again we subtract all the values found in the middle until we reach the last reading uh, when you subtract the value of the last reading we get the reduced level of the uh, second change point so in the instrument position 3 again in order for us to know the height of the instrument uh, or the line of uh, collimation through the collimation uh, axis again we add the first reading of that position 3 in order for us to get the height of instrument and we subtract the rest in order for us to have our reduced levels so our reduced levels are found on the bottom of the staffs remember that having said that uh, let's move on to the uh, here as you can observe on the so this is a booking leveling sheet so these are yeah these are booking survey leveling sheet uh by this table so here we have at least uh these are seven seven columns so on our first we have the change because we were asked to calculate the gradient so i have added that of the change because of that so we have the first reading intermediate last reading uh, here we change we have the height of instrument so then we have a column where we'll write all our values of the height of instrument uh, we move on to the reduced level then lastly our mm, remarks here uh, starting on the first positioning here the first reading as i've illustrated i can repeat again so we uh, use that 
um, reduce level given to us this is the uh, reduce level given to us on the question so that was the reduce level of a given to us here on the question as 80 point uh, 380.5 meters that value is added with the first reading here in order for us to have the height of instrument so this is the uh, reduced level of position a uh, taken as my unknown uh, uh, that can be my either temporary benchmark or even permanent so 380 plus the backside this is the first reading a uh, 0 0.855 you get a total of 8.1 or so 3 381.355 meters that will be the height of instrument where our first uh, readings were taken here so that is the height of instrument to all these values that were taken where the instrument was held at position one so by doing that so from the height of instrument uh, you go ahead so this value you will subtract the intermediate in order for you to get our next reduced level then again the height of instrument you will subtract the intermediate in order for us to get the next reduced level again you subtract the height of instrument with the intermediate so these are the intermediates so you subtract with the intermediate in order for you to get the reduced levels found on the bottom of the staffs here and you get your reduced levels and lastly the height of instrument is subtracted from the so here we have our last reading on the uh, foresight uh, reading so you subtract that last reading in order for you to get the reduced level of the last reading where our staff was held on the change point so that will be the reduced level found on the bottom of the staff here and uh, as i've said earlier on our second positioning of the instrument first of all we need to observe again the staff the staff does not change so there is where our first reading is taken again so our first reading is taken again from there so if our first reading is taken from there that means we add the reduced level found on the bottom of that stuff plus the value that we have on the first reading that is 0 0.455 meters after adding that that total will give you the height of instrument found here so that will be the height of instrument again for the second positioning so that will be the height of instrument for the second positioning of the instrument and that height of instrument will subtract all these intermediate sites and lastly our foresight from that height of instrument uh, by the use of uh, calculator so this height of instrument you will subtract first as uh, one point uh, three eight then again the height of instrument is you will subtract uh, two point zero five five again you will subtract two point eight five five giving you all the reduced levels found here so by the use of a calculator make sure you do that correctly in order to avoid an error lastly uh, the height of instrument you subtract the last reading on that second positioning of the instrument so on this second positioning of the instrument you subtract the uh, last reading this is the foresight in order for you to get the reduced level found on the changing point here and that reduced level found here will be added to the first reading on the instrument position three in order for you to get the 
height of instrument or the line of collimation of that position three of the instrument yeah so uh you come again so this is the value so after subtracting that you get the reduced level as uh, 3.7 4.53 uh this is the value that you again add the first reading of the position three of the instrument 1.5855 in order for you to get the height of instrument of that positioning and by the height of instrument of position three you again subtract the intermediates so the inter sites in order for you to obtain the reduced levels where the staff was held of those inter site and on our last part you subtract the last reading here so when you subtract the last reading there that will be the last reduced level found on our instrument position three here so this is the last reading that will have taken so that is the height of instrument method uh done simply just like that so here on the remark here we have the changing uh point here we have the changing point remember to add that so that's how these values are gotten so you add the reduced level of where you have so the non the non reduced level you add it the first reading in order for you to obtain the height of instrument that is the line of collimation and that is done on all those values and remembering how this change point affects our values here so that change point uh, remember that so in our change point the reduced level found here on the bottom again we'll add the first uh, reading of the positioning of the instrument where we had the changes having finished that you come and we apply the arithmetic check so here the uh, summation of the back side and minus the summation of the four side will give you the same value as the uh, last reduced level minus the first reduced level will give you the same so having seen that you will have proven all your answers are correct so this is the summation of the back side summation of the four side uh, the value that you will have gotten there you will compare it to subtraction of the last reduced level here uh, minus the first reduced level that we had there been given on the question uh, having finishing finished that so remember more videos around the uh, the channel so i watch shorts empire this is an educational channel an entertainment channel for you all remember to subscribe and pass the knowledge freely to everyone around so that will be all make sure you do more research work more example uh this example is an equation but also uh in the upcoming uh, highway engineering under the cedac that is applied the same way that i've done now so i have illustrated well make sure you uh pass through the questions and you see how i have done everything so thank you that will be 